Hello, this is Jorge Ortiz. If you have an iPhone, iPad, iPod, whatever, and you have access to the menu the way I do right here, and it has an account, but it isn't yours, or it's yours and you forgot, you totally forgot your um, password, and you cannot eliminate it, it will ask you for your password and it won't let you. It goes like this. you try to close session and it will ask you for the, the password you don't know it okay it has to be jail breakable it has to you have to be able to do jailbreak on it on this case we have an iPhone that has iOS 14.7.1 which is very possible to do a jailbreak using check ring I already jailbroke it. It's right there. But it's very important. You have to be able to jailbroke it. It could be uh, by, by one of the newer uh, jailbreak uh, tools and has to be done on a Mac is easier. I can show you how to do it also on a, on a Windows. I'm going to tell you how to do it at the end. But first, let's do it on the Mac. The Mac once already is, is detected, like so. You'll be able to just, oh, it says that it's not supporting. Let's see, you just give it, go into the options, allow untested back, and you'll be ready to go. It will get you on, if you hit start, you'll go into, um, connect to iTunes mode and this will guide you it takes just a couple of minutes to get it done okay I won't do it because it's already jailbroken and I need it the way it is okay now the second thing is to go into um, Syria and let it uh, it will actualize it will um, it will update and you just let it update all the way. Like right now, it's it's looking for updates. It's already updated. Once it's updated, you go into the search loop here, and you're gonna look for this, the Filsa file manager. Again, I already have it installed. You go into it, Filsa, and you're gonna go back. All the way back all the way back until you hit this is the first page you're gonna go into bar the bar folder over here once in bar we go look for mobile right here once in mobile, you go into library. In library, you look for accounts. See? Sometimes it's named user account. Not this one, the one here. Go back. It goes all the way in the back. I mean, all the way down. Accounts. And you're going to delete, delete these three, three files. Delete. Same with the second one. And the third one. Okay. Now we go back into library and we're going to look it into configuration profiles. You got you got to be very careful because it passes a notice. There. User configuration profile. Go into it and you are going to delete the first one. 
the client through list. Eliminate. Okay. That's it. Now, if you go back into the configuration, general is still there. We need to re uh, re just restart it, turn it off, and turn it back again, turn it on back again. Let's wait for it. I'm not going to cut it so you can see. Let's wait. I'm going to restart it by reconnecting it to the Mac. It's the same procedure on the Windows, and I'm gonna leave all the notes of the, all the stuff that I just did on the on the description, so you can just follow it along. And you see that it's gone. Now you can put your own iCloud account. It won't ask you for that. And just to make sure it won't ask you for that account, you erase whatever app you have downloaded from their their uh, App Store uh, account. See, it is giving me the welcome again. Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on, on a Windows machine. And to do it on a Windows PC, I already have trusted. You need to download this tool, three new tools. From that place, www.3u.com. You download it, install it, very easy. And you're going to go into, once it's recognized, it, it says that it's already jail, jailbroken. But when it says that it's not jailbroken, it will uh, give you the choice of jailbroken. It. Jailbreak it. Anyway, it's right here on Toolbox and here jailbreak it's downloading all the uh, files necessary to do it it's going to offer you these two choices this the best one is still um, check rate and you will need a USB drive I don't have it it will uh, make you a bootable USB drive and once it uh, you just hit start making it will turn your usb drive into a bootable drive which means that you will need to turn it off turn off your, your windows machine insert it into the usb drive here at the port and uh once you turn it on it will go into uh, uh let's say a special place and it will jailbreak your device very easy I know it's not very uh, easy to imagine it but once you start on it it will guide you uh, it's very easy to follow uh, so I probably make an, another video about doing it on Windows but right now that's the way I did because I don't have a, a USB drive okay thank you